So I want to welcome everybody to another episode of TV Savalas. Uh, I got a very special, special guest I, I got in the building today, y'all. Some of y'all might recognize him. You feel me? He went viral. He's been going viral several, several, several times now. You feel me? Uh, but more than going viral on social media, this man done. He jumped in the rap game. He got a new EP <laughs> yeah. out. You feel me? Man. So I'm gonna let him go ahead and introduce himself and uh, tell the people your name and kind of like your background a little bit before we get into the new album. I appreciate that, man. I want to say first, thank you for having me on your platform, man. I appreciate the opportunity to kind of, you know, get the word out about kind of what I'm doing and everything. And as you said, I am Ricky Antonio, you know, and um, yeah. Uh, and for me, it's kind of, you know, to most, to a lot, it's seen, it's, it's seen as kind of like a, he jumped into the rap game. But right. like, you know, to a lot to a lot of people who's been following me, they know that this is kind of like more so like a revisit like it's it's more so like that you know I, i've released several projects and and things like that but the get dough is the uh you know I, i've released several projects and then i took a break and kind of comedy acting and skits like that kind of took the uh the forefront you know and so now it's it's me back kind of revisiting music having fun with it man and you know we released this new gear to the new get dog gear to oh, part you, of the Ricky. Slide, I want everybody to see that. Could you slide in front of the camera a little bit? Let me, let me, let me they, slide yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, the get dog. Yeah. I feel so it. We I just feel. dropped. We just dropped this. You feel me? And and so, uh, just collaborating with my team and, and thinking, man, and pondering. It just felt like it made sense to to drop some music and to drop a, a get dog uh, EP, a get dog album as well. And so. So yeah, man, we dropped it what January twenty first. So we're a little bit over a month now. That's been out. So That's like I said, I appreciate you for having me on, bro. It's all good. Congratulations on, on the EP dropping. Uh, once again, Thank get dope by Ricky Antonio. Yeah. Uh, and that's available on all platforms: Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, all of that. Okay. So, so I see me, even SoundCloud. Even SoundCloud, you everywhere. <laughs> so I seen this video, man. It was called uh, "Ha Ha 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 Ha," something like that. that <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Those of you who haven't seen it, I highly suggest you guys go to YouTube and go uh, type in Ricky Antonio "Ha Ha Ha Ha" and uh, watch yeah, the video. Check that out, that because the video is is off the chain. Appreciate that. Appreciate so let's talk that. about that, man. This, this video was epic. Uh, the flow was sick. Can you talk about that a little bit? Man, I, I appreciate uh, your compliments on the video. Um, it was something that I kind of thought of, and, and um, it was one of my first kind of times getting a chance to direct my music video. Like, you know, I've, I've done it before. I wouldn't say, actually, I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say it's my first time, but it was kind of like a, like I said, a revisit. So I haven't directed a music video for myself in a while. So the ha ha ha, uh, I teamed up with my boy SM Visuals uh, 707. Shout out to my boy uh, Sergio, cause we've been working and, and putting together some movies. So I teamed up with him on that. I pitched to him the whole idea of uh, what, you know, the plot and things, what we wanted to do. And I also uh, got my boy Aki, my boy Aki Aki from uh, Block Moving Records. Block Movement, that's uh, the CEO of that is Be Legit. You know what I mean? Big boss, big legendary. And so I got my boy Aki Aki to uh, to uh, bless bless me with a verse on, on, that, on that thing, man. And and it was also a song, Ha 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 is also a song that I produced. It's also a song, you feel me, that I, I produced, you feel me? So... Got my boy Aki to bless, bless it, and, and yeah, we put together the video. Um, got my cousin Nate up in there, and my boy Seidel, and a bunch of other people, man. That you know, we put together. Uh, I think a uh, cool little plot. We was able to execute, you know, most of the ideas that we that we set forth. So yeah, that's what's up, man. Uh, it's a hilarious video. The beginning of it. it's like a movie more so than a music video. <laughs> And uh, it's, right. it's a, it's a, <laughs> y'all, y'all gonna laugh. Well, yeah, y'all gonna get the I'm glad you it. Go ahead. The look at it, and I'm glad you said that too, because like for me, I see myself as like a, like like an actor and a musician, and an artist. You feel me? But I see it like both, like like as serious as about both. You get what I'm saying? So my hope and my goal has been to kind of display both of those things almost masterfully, like kind of 
show you like to a degree of like, look, man, this is me directing it. This is me acting, starring in it. This is also me singing uh, and rapping. I also made the beat. Like it's kind of, you know, displaying this whole uh, picture of talent and just, you know, and yeah, just putting it out there like that. So, so yeah, that, that was a cool, man. It was, it was so good and, and so juiced to, have that all come together like that. Everybody that I really appreciate everybody that, you know, was a part of that and, and helped me put that together. We released that on the same day with the project. So the ha 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 movie slash music video dropped on the same day as the get dope EP. So we released seven songs with an entire, a seven minute long short film movie. So hell yeah, man. And I did all of that while I was in Miami. <laughs> so you were in Miami releasing records and videos. <laughs> movies, yeah, in movies, right, right. So the first, so we, uh, the the fr let's get into the actual EP, right? So the first track I, I, is let's uh, do it. It's Ali Bumbaye. Yes, sir. Can you? Yes, uh, sir. What was the mission of recording that record? Man, you say what was the mission? I, that's a good question. Yeah, because Ali was... Bumbaye, you know, we we seen it in the Ali movie, and we know a little bit about the the rumble in the jungle. But right. what, what was that, that that was that an influence? Are you like a big, big Ali fan or yeah, yeah, man? Big motivation, big uh, you know, background to it. I mean, my family, they were big on boxing, big on sports. Like boxing was a thing we we met up at and we had gumbo to watch. Like you it was like a, a holiday almost, like you feel me? I got to see my cousins again. We kicking it. So Boxing has always been a um, a big thing in my family, and my uncles also. What else, what's also been a big thing is making sure you up on your history, like not just like whether it was basketball or whatever, but knowing the ones who came, you know, before you. And so, Ali was always a always a prolific figure to me. You know, he's always somebody I kind of admired, and you know, not kind of, but it's somebody I admired, you know, and looked up to, and just, but. It was a couple things, though, you know, um, uh, I like his boxing, but also like, you know, for one, his also his philanthropy work, you know, what I mean, of course, you know, but also his shit talking, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, like right. he got off. Not only did he, not only did he feel like he mastered the shit that he did, but no, I'm going to let you know to the degree nigga, hey, you can't fuck with me. Like he was really on some shit like that. He was I'm the greatest of all time. I'm, I'm the pretty like you. Feel me, I look better than you. He was on some shit like I got more. You feel me? He was on this shit. So right, right. I, I fool with Ali, man. And and right, like you said, some of us know about like the rumble in the jungle, and that was always a always a, a historic, you know, story that uh, stood out to me and kind of like uh talking about the rope dope, you know what I mean? Like how you know he fought against Evander. He was younger and stronger and shit like that. And, but you know Ali kind of almost dumped him into looking tired and weaker and older. And, and you feel me? And it right. got you. <laughs> and so you know if and even if you hear in some of the verses I play off of that, like I say up against the rope of dope, a dope of the cocoa, wider the soap, and feel it all on your sofa. Look at up against the rope. That's just how it goes. You be trying to check my posts. I'm trying to check they posts. You feel me? Like so it's it's kind of some wordplay that's using the rope of dope. So that's funny, you know, you mentioned that. And so yeah, Ali has always been a a big figure to me. So when my boy Evil One Productions sent me that production, I yeah. was like, I, I for me it was kill mode. It was just like, I got to, I just got to obliterate this. I'm my Lee in the ring right now. I'm trying to whoop somebody ass, bro. And let him know you cannot fuck with me, bro. Mm. Man, so, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's basically. Uh, hats off to you because I feel like you did that. I feel like you accomplished that on that. Uh, that's number one. So you put that number on one. And, you get, should... and you get that one. And it's a knockout punch, like from the jump. Look, I, appreciate, I appreciate that. We we thought about that. We wanted to start just let you know what kind of energy we, we was on from the jump, you know? All right. The so, other track I wanted to get into was uh, Cooking All Year. It sounded man. like uh, it was three different things going on on that track. Like you had a deep <laughs> voice going on, a high voice, auto-tuned. It was so much flavor. Like, <laughs> why did you give us so much on that one record? Uh, that's funny you said like that. And I'm glad you noticed that, you know, I'm, and I'm glad you make mention of that because those are all cognizant thoughts that I thought when going into that record. Like when I was recording that, like I was, you know, for me, music is, it is layers sometimes, you know what I mean? It is 
Like it's sometimes it's colors. Sometimes it's like you, sometimes it's a puzzle. Sometimes mm-hmm. you're putting together a, a, a puzzle to shit. You feel me? And all it's different shapes, it's different sizes, but that all makes to one picture. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of was like that with the recording. And I, I felt like to for for one, I made that production. So okay. maybe it started there. Maybe it started with me making the bass line and making the drama, just being on some other shit and being like, oh, this kind of like, you know, it did the layers. I think it add to the uh, to the I don't know, to the bringing you into the song, like it make to the vibe of the whole energy. Yeah. So that, yeah, that's funny you notice that because I, I don't a lot of people who's listen to that song, I don't hear them necessarily mention that. So that's yeah, yeah I because appreciate that's what, that, bro. That's what caught my attention. I was like, it's a lot going on, but you can hear everything, like the quality is off is 100 percent So it's not it, like like it's it's layered correctly. Right, exactly. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate it. So that. it got a lot of depth to it. Another song uh is is cool shit. Uh <laughs> now let me ask you this. Uh was that a, a tipsy sample? And also, uh, uh, and also, before you answer that, was that a tipsy sample? And also, uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> I like how you uh, how you made it known that uh, you put in the work, but uh, people only see the finished product. You know that song. You know what I mean, cool shit. So it's like you did the work, but then you only see the cool stuff. That was kind of exactly. was that kind of like the exactly. thing going that- on in there. Yeah, that was that was the exact you right on the money. That was the exact idea behind that. I think like you know, um, and for one, that was a song I made with my with my cousin, um, my boy, my cousin Tater. Um, he's man, me and Cuz, we we have a lot of fun. We create music. We be freestyling, and uh, that's one of the funnest songs I ever created for me. You know what I mean? Like me and him, we probably freestyled for two hours, and that's how that song came about. You know what I mean? Wow. And we put the line, and we just put the lines together, and we going. If you hear us, we chopping the verses, the whole the verses up. So how that song came about is, uh, me and my boy Evil One Productions co-produced that. So okay. I really don't even do a lot of co-producing, but like that's my boy, and we we have been working on a lot of music at that time, and so then it was like I, I had made the beat to a. Uh, to a certain extension, I felt like it, it went crazy. And me and Cuz, that freestyle, we kind of had came up with, but I was like, man, I'm gonna give my boy Evil One to kind of put some glaze on this for me, you feel me? And he glazed that thing. And, and so, yeah, that's kind of how, is it a, a tipsy sample? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. But what I thought to myself is, as we were freestyling and shit and writing and the whole shit, I thought that was a raw ass way to start the song off though. <laughs> It was. One to the two, to the three, to the four. One of the police knocking at my door. Must, must be the neighbors that's getting planted up the floor. Right, about right. to make the call, about to tell the landlord. I thought that, to me, I was like, oh, I started like that with the little auto tune and shit. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and, and what you say, what you was about to say? Bro? Oh, it's a great attention grabber. That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, then you kept going with it. I was like, okay. So I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was me and go me and cuz go. Like I said, we do a lot of freestyling where we where we uh do like this four bar game mm-hmm. where we're uh we let a beat play or it's a beat I made or my other cousin he will slide through and we produce something and we all just you go four bars, then the next one go four, you continue the story type shit. And so that's what me and cuz do. We probably I probably made that beat, was feeling it, bruh. And we just <laughs> went. We was like, uh, oh, cuz this is what we doing. And, and and thank you for saying that because what we felt like and what I really felt like is I wanted to reveal the behind the scenes, the shit that you don't see, the shit when your car go down, you gotta catch the bark to go to the studio to to get it in, the shit. Like we talking about shit like that, the shit when you ain't got an office, you gotta sit on somebody's stoop and have a meeting with your team and and talk about ideas and plans and goals that y'all working on, that's next. Like if you listen to the song, that's that's what we talking about. Like, but y'all only see the cool whips y'all only see us when we pull up in the in the gear and shit but y'all don't see the the phone calls and the long nights the the no sleep the the losing you feel me the grind that go behind it so that that was the whole focus on that man y'all don't see the y'all only see the cool shit man right. they only see you when you reach the top of the mountain you feel me, they you hear the me? yeah you don't see the laps and you don't see the the suicides that i had to run to get to get here though Right, right. I, you that, feel me? The, the message behind that song was powerful, I feel like. 
Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So uh, another song that, on a lighter note, so the song uh, "Funky hey. Fool." You've been posting a lot oh, yeah. of you've been posting a lot of like little memes and stuff and editing on your social media about uh, little clips of that song. That's been Actually so funny. For like years. Okay. So uh, talk about that song a little bit, "Funky Fool," because it's, it's, it's it it got a little vibe to it. Man, I, I appreciate that. And, and that's what people that's what people have been, you know, telling me. And I would say that song started, which is crazy. That song began on Instagram Live. So Funky Fool started on Instagram Live. The the concept how you doing? The concept, <laughs> the conceptual of Funky Fool, the beginning of it started on Instagram Live. How did that come about? This, so this was uh like I said, I had made reference earlier i said i took that kind of a break from music but at that time when i before my break i was doing a lot of grinding with it and and one of the things i used to do is i used to go on instagram live a lot and just make beats okay you know from scratch or 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 play music and so on this day i was just making beats you know what i mean and and funky fool i, I just i had uh first thing i came up with was that bass line and i was like oh my god <laughs> I was like, that is a funky fool. <laughs> Almost like, you feel me? And then I, from there, that was kind of the vibe in the end. I was like, God, this song is crazy. I was like, this beat is crazy. Like, you know, and it started to come together. I think it maybe took me like, maybe like, a, I don't know how long it took me, maybe 30 minutes to an hour to make that on Instagram Live. Okay. That's wild. You know, from start to from start to finish, I had people chiming in, telling me I should do this, do that. Like it was raw, bro. Like it was, it was an energy, you know. And I'm a producer too. I, I don't think that's what people realize. Like, as much as I am a, a an artist now, or you know, an artist, I'm also a a, a producer and a musician. Like you know, I, I grew up playing music. Like so, I, I'm that's what I am as well. 100% like I'm 100% equal like on both of them so that's what people don't realize so when I made that beat I was just like damn this is a motherfucking fool <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. and so and so look I'm glad you asked me that question because I've been wanting to explain this story for years bro please tell and so me. so I I released that song right and I was I was thinking like damn should I should I let people know or should I not let people know? And I was like, you know what? I think it's time that I've been, I've been like you said, I've been putting this song on memes and shit like that for a while. So I was like, I think it's time I let people know, bro. I freestyled this entire song from beginning to end. No way, nah. I think I was like, I think it's time that. So if you look at the credits on my album cover, it's like funky full freestyle. I asked my boy, I'm like, bro, should I, should I finally let people know like that? I actually like so. Let me go into it a little bit. So Please, explain. check this out. I made that beat on Instagram live and I'm a hooper. If you know me, you know, I love that game. And I love to play it. And so I'm at the 24 hour fitness in Richmond, hooping, you feel me? Get it in, probably put some people on their ass and on the sideline. And so that was going on. Right. But I'm, a, I'm still thinking about funky food that I made on Instagram. I'm like, I made this crazy ass beat on Instagram live. Wait, this is how I'm feeling. So I told my boy, it was some games on that was coming on, you feel me? And we'd be watching the games. And she was like, bro, come to the house, nigga. We get some food and shit, cuz. We smoke a little bit of shit, nigga. And let me show you some music and shit I've been working on. So one of the songs I showed him was the beat to Funky Fool. And guess what I did? And this will probably make sense to you when I say it. But I freestyled for two straight hours. Wow. As, as, but look, though, in character. I freestyled for two straight hours as Tupac, as Mystical, come on, as as DMX, as DMX, oh my dog, and as my and as myself. If you listen to it, you can kind of hear energies and cadence. I know you can hear some like mystical influence. Like so, I had I had like freestyle, just kind of playing with it, just kind of. But my nigga he kept laughing at me like, "Cause, but that sound raw, dog." <laughs> he kept saying, "But that sound kind of dope, though." He was like, "And so after two hours of us kicking, smoking, watching the game, I'm playing the beat. I'm keep going, and then out of nowhere, I came up with the knocking like that. That ain't that. Like that's in and the freestyle. Knows. That's in the that's that's thirty minutes in the freestyling. You feel me? That I that you come up with a line like, that. You like "Oh God, oh." He like, "Nigga, write that down, nigga, write that." So that's how that whole song, so that song, that's how the hook came about, like doing it like that. But then 
so look, so I freaked about two hours, bro. So bro was he was leaving. He was he say he say Rick, I don't know how you gonna do it, but that kind of energy, the whole kind of or like kind of try to capture that on this on the song. Like I don't know how you gonna do it, but try. Right. And so he left. He left. No lie, I had my boy come through two hours later, bro. Why he say I gave him the same? I'm fucking around again, just playing around with it, bro. He said the same thing. He kind of like his mind kind of blown at kind of how it feels. Right, kind of right. the pockets and good. shit that you catching. Yeah, that you catching this mystical and shit. The, the, like you feel me? Just fucking around. Like he they like, bro. He said the same thing. Like, no, bro, record something. I don't know how you gonna do it, but make it your own flavor. Like that's how they kind of was. And so when they left, when they left, I said to myself, I kind of had the hook, right? Because I, all of that freestyling had, had got me the lines of the hook. I was like, you know what I mean? Act what, what, what I'm a dude. Play it cool. Now, I can't play. I can't act a motherfucking fool. A thing I know. You better get the dough. Because knocking like that, that ain't dominoes. You feel me? Like, I, I kind of came up with the hook. And then, so what I did for the for the verses, though, I, I got in my zone. Got my little element, you feel me? My little tree and my little drink and shit like that. You feel me? Got in my mood and shit. And I just started the track. I just started recording. I just press record, bro. Man, it just and, went and, with what, it. and what I I freestyle for three straight minutes and I chopped at 16 and then I chopped at 32 and then I chopped at you feel me. And I just put it in, in the first verse, the second verse, and the third verse. Masterpiece. That, that and I, I was like, damn, does it sound good? People gonna fuck with it, uh, they gonna like it, or because I mean, I'm just in here just zoning out right now. Like, I did one take, you feel me? Just freestyled it all three minutes. If you listen to it, you listen to the verses, you will realize it's one continuous ass story. You would, uh-huh. you, would, you would realize that the second verse leaves off, it picks up from where the first verse left off because it's it was freestyled like that. So, <laughs> as I said to myself, okay, since I freestyled those. At the end, I'm going to surprise them with a fourth verse that I'm going to write. I'm going to try to pin something crazy. And so that's the only thing that's written on there was that last verse. Everything else, the first three minutes, 30 seconds or whatever, that's freestyle, bro. Man, that's crazy. That's wild. You I did pre- it. You put it appreciate together. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate I got to go back that, and listen man. to it again with another ear since you told me about yeah, the now, and now, all that. Yeah, yeah, now that you now that you kind of get now that you know that big grand backstory, yeah, listen to it with those ears, bro. I bet Man. that should trip you out a little bit. Since you you took us <laughs> to the south a little bit, talking about mystical, let's talk about this Tucci song. Was that paying uh, homage, was that paying homage to the Hot Boys era? So what was man, that about? Man, shout out to Tune, man. Uh, uh, definitely a, a if if you ask my brother, he'll tell you he know. Like that's who got him uh, on Weezy. Like that was my Weezy was my shit, man. Uh, Hot Boys, the five four hundred degrees. You feel me? Just everything, every everything that they was releasing and and the loud pipes, loud pipes, big rims, Wardy. That's all I like when we pull up. But the girls, sorry, that's all I like. I know a lot of haters. I just say that that ain't right. You feel me? But our diamonds are much bigger, so that's all I like. <laughs> but that was my shit, bro. So and. My boy Evil One Productions produced Tonchi. Shout out to my boy Evil again. And so when he sent me that, the loud pipes in that song kind of reminded, kind of took me back to kind of like a, kind of like a Tonchi type of, if I don't know, it took me there. It made me, it made me, you feel me? It took me to like, and, and kind of the repetitiveness of the pipes and it kind of took me to like how Emilio, like how that was repetitive and shit like that. So it kind of took me to like a, a Tucci kind of feel in it and the way it felt like it felt like you had to kill it. Like also when Tucci was in his prime and just slaughtering shit. Da, 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 you feel me? <laughs> oh, you so good. What's a good to a god? Like, nothing, nothing. You ain't saying nothing. Like, boy, Weezy was going crazy. Like, so it took me to that. Yeah, I was like, tune. And for me, Cash Money, that era that they came in, like I was 12 years old in middle school. Like, like for me, like when I met Manny Fresh out here at High Road Day, I, what I said to him, I said, Manny, you raised me. Mm. That's, that's all I said. Can I mm. get a picture with you? Like, you raised me, bro. Like, and that's how, like, they shaped me, like, a lot. You feel me? And especially Tune, because Wheezy, because, you know what I mean? He was he was younger, so he was kind of like, you could see yourself in him, you know what I mean, where he was at in his stage of life and shit like that. And a superstar, one of the most successful 
you know, guys and moguls to ever exist uh, in hip hop. A dope guy still pushing out music to this day. So I was definitely channeling my tune and showing some love to 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 Birdman, to all of them, man, who Tur- Turk, Juvie, you feel me, BG, the whole Cash Money regime, man, just big love, Slim, you feel me, Bird, everything, Miss, even Miss Gladys, boy, even big love to the whole gang, man. Yeah, that's what's up, big man. Love. And you was just in Miami out there, so, you know, Birdman live out there, so. What are, I tried to knock on his door and put some respect on his name, but that nigga ain't answer shit. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the last track on this on this EP that you put out that was so dope and, and so cool, right? It's called thank you, thank I'm, you for that, I'm Tripping. And hey. now is, is that your brother on, on that song feature with you? I know you mentioned yeah. your brother earlier or several other times throughout this interview. Is he is he also uh is he also rapping on that track with you? Yes, sir. That's my brother A Jeezy, my little brother, man. That's my mama's son, but you feel me? Like, that's that's my brother, man, you feel me? So, yep, uh, I'm Trippin' is another track on there that I produce from uh, start to finish. And uh, when I put it together, I, um, I honestly had made made the, made the beat, you know what I mean? And, and, and sang it and, and, and rapped my parts and shit. And I was like, ooh, my brother would go perfect out here. And so I hit little bro. Had him slide through, you know, and we and we laid that track. That's one of my favorite songs right there, man. I'm tripping. Yeah, I feel like uh, that track got a got a lot a lot of layers to it as well, as far as the different uh, styles, the collaboration y'all got. Y'all styles are both different and unique, yeah. and uh, I think uh, I, I would like to hear more of y'all two on tracks together. Um, hey, that's dope, and and I do appreciate you because. Uh, I'm tripping does have a different sound. I think on this project, I've been kind of trying to prove or show or display or showcase that I can sing, that I, that I, you feel me, kind of got little, you know, little vibes and energies and shit like that. So I'm tripping. Um, it's one of my favorite ones that we was able to put together. And I do think me and my brother should make more music together. So <laughs> I appreciate that. Appreciate that. That's what's up, man. So that's the EP list that I got, man. That was Ricky Antonio's whole EP. He just laid it out there for y'all, man. Once again, everybody, go get everywhere, it go buy it, go get it, go we get the get dope gear. Too, the new merch. Tell them where they can find our merch at, man. Man, if you go on my Instagram uh, and click the link in my bio, it'll take you to all of the links. It'll take you to the merchandise link to where you can check out the, the hoodies, the hats. We got dad caps. We got masks. Anything you can name. The new album is also for my people who still want to put the CD up in there. And y'all like the hard covers, man. We still shipping them out to you as well, man. You feel me? So that's on there, too. And also the links to my Spotify, iTunes, uh, Apple Music. That's also, you know, all on there on my link tree. So uh, you click the link in my bio on my Instagram at I am Ricky Antonio. And now to get you to everywhere, everywhere you need to be to be tapped in with me. You feel me? I am Ricky Antonio. Y'all tell me. Can I in. get a water though? Man, can I get a water though? You got big water coming, man. Big buckets, man. That's or can I get a wad of dough? You, <laughs> right. you get both of them. B O F U M. Both. <laughs> can of I get a water though? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Wild Magnolia. That's what's happening. You feel man. me? Hey man, I'm, I'm proud of you, dog. You, you. Uh, I, I really think you did display um, a lot of diversity in this um, EP. And also not just Thank the music, that, but also the visuals. So I hope that you put out more visuals as well because the ha 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 uh, visual was off the chain. And so Thank I can that, only man. imagine that uh, more would be coming in the future. And um, you got anything going on outside of music and, and that creative thing? Uh, I know you, go, was, you already go crazy on Instagram with, with the comedy and the stories and, that, and the skits. I appreciate that. That's what I was going to say. Like uh, for me, the Get Dope EP has been cool because, you know, the people who've kind of been seeing me focus on comedy for this period of time I've been focusing on it, um, they get to see me as a musician. They get to see me kind of as a as my overall entertainer self. So it's been a it's been a uh, it's been cool to kind of get feedback from the public and from friends and family and things like that in regards to how they feel and how they're being receptive to you know, work and things like that. I put my my heart and soul into so that shit dope. I do appreciate 
uh, all the love from the people. Uh, outside of that, uh, I mean, yeah, and that's, I mean, I, I'm always releasing comedy. Comedy is a daily thing. I'm releasing comedies daily on my TikTok, on my Instagram, new videos. So it's like, I try to make sure, like I try to show an overall kind of entertainment type of thing is kind of how I envision myself. Um, outside of kind of the things we've talked about, I think I got the Can I Get a Water Though podcast that I, that's getting ready to drop soon. Um, that's featuring my co-host Evil One Productions that, uh, you know, made some of the tracks that's on the Get Dough EP. And also my brother S-Dub, that's, you feel me, one of the co-hosts on that thing. So um, you, to get tapped in with that, that's YouTube.com slash I am Ricky Antonio. And just subscribe and turn your notifications on. If you'll see, you'll already see that we be releasing conversations and giving our opinions on certain things and our expertise or lack of expertise, however <laughs> you want to see it. You, know what I mean? you tune in and you'll be the judge. But you can uh, find that at the youtube.com slash I am Ricky Antonio. We've already started releasing conversations and, and things like that. And our full length episodes will be, be coming soon. So it's actually a lot of things, you know, got going, man. Filming another movie tomorrow. Just came back from LA. So man. we working full full gas, you know, you know, we full gas in the tank and, and full gas, you know, pedal to the metal, man. Man, they only see the cool stuff, man. That's how we really feel genuinely, man. They only man. see the cool shit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So uh before I let you go, brother, I just wanna uh I want you to re-emphasize your social media and uh where they can get all the product and services, man. And we thank you for your time and uh, everybody go get the EP. Yeah, man. Thank you. I, like I said, uh, thank you. I appreciate you for having me on your platform, man. And, and uh, thank you for like, you know what I mean? Listening to the project and, and having real feedback to, to give on it, you know, cause some people there had you on the platform and not necessarily even really dove into the project. So I definitely appreciate the kind of questions you threw at me um, to tap in with me. I would say go on my Instagram uh, at I am Ricky Antonio. Click the link in my bio uh, and on my link tree. That'll take you to everything. My Spotify, Amazon. Um, I even have my um, I was going to say Pinterest. <laughs> I guess I'm thinking of that because that's what Donald Trump got blocked from. <laughs> you got to say that for the podcast. <laughs> right. That's podcast conversation, right? <laughs> but uh, I was going to say even my, um, shit, I can't even, my Patreon. So Patreon is a, um, Patreon is a, is a thing that creators create so they can create. How crazy that sound. That was raw. I might have to put that in the bar. But, uh, <laughs> Patreon is a, is a program where people who enjoy a creator's creations, they can donate money. They can donate money to get behind the scenes clips, to get uh, things first. It's like different things and prizes like that you can receive. So for creators like me, who's an independent creator, I'm doing this out of my pocket, out of, you know what I mean? Out of, out of my love, out of my love for the arts and for, you know, giving my energy to the world and my view and my comedy and just, you know, making the world laugh and, and tough times and shit like that. Patreon is a great uh, place where you can keep that kind of thing going. You know what I mean? You can give that kind of thing longevity on an independent level when you, you know, participate in, in programs like that. So if you click the link tree in my bio um, on my Instagram at I am Ricky Antonio, also on my Twitter, uh, at I'm Ricky Antonio, you know what I mean? It's the link in there as well, uh, my link tree, and it'll take you to all of that. The Patreon, uh, the woo, find me, man. You can follow me. You can keep up with your boy, you know what I mean? Tap in with and the so, kid, real Bay Area, real Richmond. Appreciate that. Rich City representative. <laughs> man, well, uh, have a good night, brother. It was a pleasure having you on, man, and we wish you much success, and everybody... Stay connected and find a boy, find a kid, get with him, man. Get dough. Go get yeah. some, go get a hat, man. Go get a sweater, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. Him, get a man. mask or something. Go I appreciate that, it's family. It's all good, man. Hey, man. Can I get a water though? Like I said, man, appreciate you again, family. Thank you for having me on. Um, get dough is in stores right now. Ha ha ha. It's on YouTube right now. Go run them numbers up for your boy, man. Mm -hmm.